Are there any uh, questions? No. <laughs> no. Not wow. It's clear. <laughs> no. Yeah. The whole thing is clear. Well, this is my next to the last time, class this time. So, uh, what I wanted to uh, do is leave my email address in case I can help in some way uh, with your English. If you have to prepare a written statement or you have to, I don't know, some, or you have a question that uh, you uh, can't find an answer to or something about uh, your English studies, you can email me and I'll uh, do my best to uh, send you an answer.
people were hoping, oh, maybe she's at the hotel, or maybe, maybe she's on a, a hike, maybe hiking someplace. I hope, I hope that they find her and everything will be okay. I hope. The hopes. And, uh, and then, but as the days went by, the hopes began to fade. They were very hopeful the first day. Uh, second day, ooh, okay, we still hope, still hope. Third day, a uh, little less, less, less. Hope, hope, hope. And then, but as each day goes by that she's missing, the hopes fade, fade, fade. It'd be like the color of your shirt. Maybe when you buy it, it's blue, but after you wash it 10 times, it's not so blue. The color has faded, faded, slowly fading away, slowly, slowly disappearing. So what happens here, the hopes of, of saving or finding the tourists are fading away, fade away. You could say, I wish they would find her very quickly. I hope they will find her very quickly. I wish you good luck. I hope you have good luck. So you're in the same uh, area of, of meaning with wish and hope. I have good wishes for you. I have good hopes for you. I hope you do well. I hope everything goes successfully. Hope, wish. But in the case of the British tourist in Cambodia, the hopes that she be, will be found are beginning to fade away. Fade, fade, fade. Like the color on a, on a shirt that's been washed many, many times. Begins to fade away. So it, it depends on the hope, hopes and wish. It depends on how you're using it in a lot of ways. But the overall general meaning is pretty much the same. I wish you the best of luck. I hope you have good luck. <laughs> pretty much uh, similar situation. I'm sure we've thought about it for a long time. We can come up with things where it's a little bit different in the meaning. But generally speaking, wish and hope. Wishes, I have the wishes, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I wish, I wish. Let's see here. North Korea snubs invite to resort talks. North Korea, NK, snubs. North Korea snubs invite. What does it mean to snub? Snub. <laughs> snub and invite. To snub. No? Well, suppose I say to you, a situation like this. I've met, uh, let's see, I'm a single guy, let's say, and I've met this girl that I'd love to take to lunch. And, you know, I'm very nice and polite, and I walk up to her one day and I said, oh, uh, would you like to go to lunch with me uh, tomorrow at one o'clock? And she turns, <laughs> Obviously, no. A snub. A very impoli impolite way to refuse something. Mm. To just, oh, I'm not going anywhere with you. You know, that type of thing. Instead of saying, oh, I'm very sorry, uh, I have a, another engagement tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Maybe we could meet next week or something like that. Well, that's one way. But to just look at the picture, kidding me, not wasting my time going to lunch with you, you know, a snub, 
and in this case, North Korea, snubs the invitation to uh, some talks with South Korea, for, uh, agree, uh, talks about some issue with South Korea. So they just snub, not <laughs> you go, get out of here. <laughs> to snub, very impolite way to, well, to, no. Teacher, uh, can I ask you, NK, what's it mean? NK. North, North Korea. Korea. Yeah. As I mentioned before in the newspapers, they, they're limited by the space. Aww. They can only write so much, but, you know, it only goes. So instead of writing North Korea snubs yeah. invitation to resort talks, which we go all the way across here, they go NK snubs in the invite. So an invite, the real way to write that would be North Korea uh, refuses to uh, meet with uh, uh, South Korea and refuses their invitation to talk. So it's NK snubs invite. But you, if you uh, get a chance, as I mentioned before, please try to uh, Read as much English as you can, either in newspapers or on a computer, uh, and have a dictionary handy so that when you write that, come across words which are used a lot of times in a different way in newspapers than just speaking. Drill, drill kicks off huge security operation. Drill kicks off huge security operation. Drill kicks off huge security operation. What does that mean? Security, safety. Yes. Obviously they're worried that there, there's some type of operation involving safety. And huge is big, big. And kicks off is, we've talked about kicks off. What does kicks off mean? Football. Kick off football. Like a football. Well, right, but what? It doesn't mean football here. It means kicks off. What does that kicks off mean? Well, football. And what is a kickoff in football? We, we begin start. Start. Yes. Kaboom. And the game begins. So, kicks off huge operation means they've started a huge operation. A security operation has been kicked off. Kaboom. Let's go. And what does drill mean? Several meetings for drill. Well, the first would be to pick up the drill. The hole in the wall, and then tack, 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 or something like that. Drill a hole in the wall. Drill, the dentist will your teeth. Drill your teeth. And, but in this case, a drill is practice. We will, if this was an office building, let's say, okay, tomorrow at 10 o'clock, there will be a fire drill in the building. A fire drill. What does that mean? Fire drill tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the building. Practice is kept from fire. Exactly. A practice, a drill, it's not a real fire, but everybody's, the, the bell's going to go bing, 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 bing. Oh, okay. And everybody then practice, practices leaving the building in a quick, safe way. A drill. There will be a drill tomorrow.
you can drill a hole in the wall with a drill. The dentist can drill a hole in your tooth and fill it. Or you can have a drill, a fire drill, for example. Some type of practice, a drill, a way to do things, a drill. A fire drill, practice. Railroad network development, a summit priority. A summit priority. Rail network development, a summit priority. What is a summit? Something is meeting, right? Meeting, something. Missing? Meeting. Meeting. Oh, meeting. What kind of meeting? Uh, a big meeting. A big meeting. What kind of big meeting? Uh, like a, or like a, uh, a popular person, the, the leader, the lead, the leader of the country. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, well, first of all, a summit. A mountain. The summit is the top. So when you refer to a summit meeting, it refers to a meeting regarding people at the highest level of a certain country or several countries. A summit meeting. The prime ministers of five countries will meet uh, A summit meeting involves the senior people of a country, the prime minister, the president, somebody like that, all coming together, but basically at the top, for a meeting on certain issues. So, a summit. Network, something about railroads will be a summit priority. An issue to be discussed. What's that? New student. New student. Okay. And a teacher. Yeah, summit would be a, 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 a meeting of people at the highest level of the government. But the think tank plotting a course to 2020. Plotting a course to 2020. Think tank plotting a course to 2020. What is a plot? A plot. P L O C. Morning. Plot. A plot can be several things, but usually it can be a negative thing. A plan. A group of terrorists, a group of terrorists have been plotting an attack on the state capitol building. A group of terrorists have been plotting an attack on the state capitol building. In other words, a group of people who are terrorists out to kill people and destroy things are planning, yes. are planning or plotting to destroy or uh, people and, and property or kill people and destroy property. A plot. It can be a, usually a negative thing. When you're talking about people plotting, it's usually planning. If it was a good thing, they'd say, oh, they are planning to do this and that. But they are plotting to do this or that. 
plotting a terrorist attack. But also plot can be in a in a story, in a book. It can be just the events that happen all through the story, the plot. And also you can have a plot of land. Land with nothing on it at the moment. But you're deciding that you're going to buy a plot of land in order to build a school. Oh, thanks a lot. You buy a plot of land, a plot, a certain size uh, of land to uh, build a school, a plot. But most of the time, when you see plots in newspapers, it's not a good thing. It's a negative act, a, pl a plan by terrorists, killers, are plotting some nefarious, evil thing to do. A plot. He said this is negative meaning. Uh, normally, yes, a negative meaning. You can, it can be a positive thing. It can be a plot of land, just a plot of land, an open space, where we have bought a plot of land and we are going to build a school. What is the plot of the novel? Well, it's a story of about two people that travel from America to China and all the things that happen along the way. That is the plot of the story. But most of the time, when they're talking about a plot, it's a negative plan, a plan for a bad thing. The terrorists are plotting an attack. And when they had the 9-11 attack in the United States, September 11th, when they struck, they hijacked the planes, that was a terrorist plot. It was a plan, but they use it in a negative way. If, if I would like to say a uh, positive, positive meaning, uh, we are choose pen. Yeah, you would, yeah, plan would be. Uh, I yeah. plan to do well, I plan to something yeah. like that. You are plotting, uh, plotting usually implies something not so good. Oh, not so good. Right, but, uh, but you can, it can be a plot, it can be in, in I, a I, way that's not negative. I can say I, I plot to hold terror? No. You could, but it would be unusual. Um. The, the most common way is that I'm, tra I'm making plans to travel to uh, California. Okay. I, or I am plotting a trip on the map. I'm plotting the trip on the map. Go here, go there, go here, go there. But most of the time, it has a negative sense, plotting. The terrorists or the criminals are plotting something very dangerous, negative. So you had drill, practice, well that's one meaning, but remember, with many words in English, there are many other meanings. It's not just drill, practice, and that's it, no. You have a power drill, and you are drilling a hole. So there are other ways that drill can be used. Summit, the top. A summit meeting, a meeting of the top officials of a certain country or countries. A summit. Fade, to slowly, slowly slip away. The fading sunlight in the late afternoon the sunlight was fading, fading, fading. Snub, an impolite refusal. Oh, not going to lunch with you, not for all the tea in China. <laughs> so it's a, a kind of a negative way. But these are words that come up from time to time, and you'll see them in newspapers or might hear people talking about a fire drill tomorrow, be ready. Ooh, fire drill, what's that? Fire drill? What's a fire drill? Huh? Drilled. 
I know in Thai, but cannot right. explain well, you. This is not the Thai class, by the way. This is the English class. Yes, yes. <laughs> I cannot answer that. Well, that's all right. Well, we were saying earlier before you came, a drill of a practice. Uh, yeah, a, pr a, pr a practice, a fire drill practice. The soldiers are drilling, marching to, you know, for the practice for the parade. There will be a drill this afternoon in practice for the parade tomorrow on the national holiday. Drill. Summit, snub, fade, plot. Words that uh, you don't hear every day, but they're out there nonetheless. Any questions? Sunna is looked out. Yes. yes. Look. Look down. Snow. Is it looked down? Kind of in a way, yeah. It's a negative uh, uh, refusal. Like uh, you say to me, oh, a teacher, would you like to go to lunch this afternoon? <laughs> and I, but you know, I don't have that time. Don't ever ask me again. <laughs> well, what did I do? <coughs> Instead of a polite, your response is, oh, I'm sorry, I appreciate the invitation, but I've already engaged in some other thing. I just, boom, don't even mention something like that. I snub. Just walk away. Don't even say anything. Any questions about these words? For those that just came in, this is uh, my next to the last class. So, uh, but this is uh, my email address in the United States. And so if you have any questions or stuff that you think I might be able to help you with with regard to the English or meaning or, you know, writing stuff up that you have to present somewhere or do something, I'll be glad to do it. Just let me know by email and I'll try to answer back uh, to you. If I go to Arizona, I will email to you, please. Uh, tell, tell boys to pick me up. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I'm not going to, well, I didn't mean that. You're not going to come to Arizona, are you? I just want to email, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and maybe next year I will go to Arizona really? to visit my, my friend. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, tomorrow, today is the last day. Tomorrow I go. Uh, you're not going to Arizona tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow for Osaka. Oh, Osaka. Well, okay. I can handle that. No problem. Alison, I want to Kenten Kenten Yen. Kenten Yen. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. A Grand Canyon visit. Yeah, that's uh, very. Have you been there to the Grand Canyon? Yeah. Yeah, very beautiful place. Very striking. In Chiang Mai, there is a place like Grand Canyon, but nowadays it's closed because someone fall and died. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, wow. It's, it's very light, Grand Canyon. Have you been to the Grand Canyon? No. Just in the second place in Chiang Mai. <laughs> no, just the Grand Canyon in Chiang Mai. Mm. Well, anyway, there's the email address. If I can help you in some way with regard to English, please let me know. Any questions about the words? Pronunciation? Hope's fair. Hope's fair. What does it mean? I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, okay, well, as I mentioned again to everybody, the fade is to slowly drift away, fade. In other words, the headline was the hopes fade for missing British tourists. There's a British tourist, a woman, missing in Cambodia. And when she was first discovered to not be around, where is she? We don't know. Oh, we hope that she can be found. We hope that they will be able to find the missing tourists. But then the second day, the third day, no tourists. The fourth day, the fifth day, no tourists. The hopes of finding her quickly and safely are beginning to slip away. 
Much like the sun setting in the evening, the light begins to fade away. And this is like the hope.